<laughs> Go pop it, Oliver. Look how many bubbles. So we got that on Amazon and they love it. Whoa, you like it? Look at that, wow. There's so much bubbles going on. Pop it, Oliver. Wow. Look how many bubbles we're doing. We're doing so much bubbles. Good job. Whoa, look at that really big one. Whoa, look at that one. Whoa. Mommy, what are these bubbles? Those are big bubbles. Yeah. Okay, so it is the next day, and I did it. I wasn't able to talk to you guys right after we left the preschool. It was just like way too much and I just couldn't. I don't know if it's just me, but like when my boyfriend is home and he's off work, like I am not as productive as I usually am when he's not. Like I just get like really lazy and I just want to spend all my time with him and just sit on the couch and just do nothing. But anyways, so back to work. Um, I So yesterday when we went to the preschool, because it is like a preschool. I mean, it technically is like a daycare, but it's a preschool because they're actually teaching them numbers already, ABCs. Like, that place really impressed me. I was not expecting them to do that. I thought they were just going to play like the whole time they were there. Like, you know, like a daycare. Like, I thought they were just going to be watching the kids, but no, they're actually teaching them. And um, it was actually very, very cool. I... I was honestly like just completely shocked like they actually have like a lot of things to do they have them on a schedule on a specific nap time they do take them outside to the little patio um like set up like the little playground that they have which is pretty cool i was honestly not expecting that at all to be honest so we are at the gym right now well the kids are in there i dropped them off really fast and i'm actually about to call other schools right now because the one we saw was like perfect. Well, it wasn't perfect because nothing's perfect, but um, it was amazing. It was really good. And I, well, my boyfriend and I would definitely go for that school, except there were like just a couple things that we didn't like about the school. Honestly, like one person that rubbed us the wrong way, but overall the school was amazing. Like you guys, it was amazing. Um, the programs that they had for them was insane. I did not know that they could start that early on like learning the ABCs and the numbers They're literally starting to count at age 2 from 1 to 5 and then at age 3 from 1 to 10 And they're working on all these different types of things for them and they have them in a schedule over there and it's So incredibly crazy like I would have never Imagined that they already started doing that at that age like it literally took me by surprise and it's something that I definitely want to work more with them um, just because I don't think we're going to put them in there yet. Like one of the biggest reasons, sorry, I had to put on lipstick. <laughs> so a little bit of a backstory. I'm not sure if I told you guys yet, but the reason why we were even looking for a preschool in the first place is because I think it's time for them to start because um, I just I just feel like I am not enough for them like they need more especially like they don't really learn a lot from me even though I try to do a lot of exercises and stuff with them I just feel like like they could benefit more from a professional and hanging around other kids their age I feel like it'll be a lot better than you know just me feeling overwhelmed and I just feel like it'll be a better fit for them and it was it honestly like they loved it. it i loved the little school setups that they had i loved everything but one person rubbed me the wrong way and it's not like we were we're thinking about putting them in there immediately we're like dipping our toes into it because even though i have two kids i'm still a new mom like i'm always going to be a new mom and everything's going to be like a new experience because my oldest is only two he's about to be three and so we were only dipping our toes to see what it was like what the process was like what it took you know to actually put him in one of those things and even though the lady told us that there was um like a lot of space right now like a lot of spots available for them so 
we're either gonna keep looking for other schools or we're just gonna like hit a pause but I think we're gonna just hit a pause on that and I'm gonna work a little bit more with them like at home and see how it goes from there and see how they are I just feel like I don't have what it takes to to teach them what they should be learning and it really made me feel like if I don't put them in that preschool they're gonna be behind in life and once they start kindergarten or pre-kinder or pre-k or whatever <laughs> once they start pre-k I feel like they're gonna be behind because they didn't start early on as the kids that are in the preschool now and that that really got me super sad so I don't know what we're gonna do I mean I don't know I don't know how to go about it I don't know what we're gonna do we're probably gonna call other schools and just see because price wise it was really really expensive but I mean if you want the best you're gonna pay up the you know for the best it's gonna be expensive we're just gonna see because there's a lot to consider prices are something to consider something that they didn't have that I was really looking for was for them to have a bilingual teacher also in the classroom or just someone where they can teach them Spanish because even though I am Cuban and I you know speak Spanish I don't do it all the time it's hard for me to do that because, but whatever we do I will keep you guys updated okay so I just finished at the gym I am on my way home now and so we kind of have like this new routine now so after the gym I don't go to the park anymore I'm actually gonna go home and because I'm gonna go home because my boyfriend is starting to eat at home now well today is the first day but he's gonna start having his lunch at home instead of doing um like takeout at his work as, like instead of like ordering something to his job he's gonna start going home we, like his job is literally five minutes away from our house so he's gonna start doing that going home for lunch and that means that i need to step up my game and actually cook like a good amount of lunch two hours later we actually decided to come to a new park we found a new park yesterday just driving around the neighborhood and we found a new one it's gated which i love and it's not as far it's like a st one street two streets closer than the other one we used to go to only difference is that this one is very very big they're obsessed with those little bubble things obsessed and this one is obsessed with barbecue no, not on his face because he's eating. Look, it has like so many little obstacle things like all over. This park is huge. I definitely want to sit in that tire. So this giant book bag has a bunch of snacks, extra clothes, because I thought we were going to go to the splash pad, and water, and juice just in case and diapers wipes a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that we don't even need i mean i think they really like this park so it wasn't a bad idea to come here but but i honestly don't think we're gonna come back here again just for the fact that it has a lot and i mean a lot of different Mommy, entrances to the park Mommy, it's yeah it's blowing a lot of bubbles it has a lot of different entrances and it's like an all-around park and so I get scared with the many entrances like I, just because I like I, I'm really scared of like somebody just snatching my child but there's also like a lot of people not a lot there's like two people they just left but there were two people in here that didn't have kids and that kind of like scared me a little bit because it's like it's just it's kind of like weird and I'm always like on high alert when I go out with them <laughs> because you know you just I get scared. I get scared and I get overwhelmed and I get anxiety. Like right now he's running that way and I need to go. <laughs> There's just way too many entrances for me to keep track of and it's my first time at this park. I don't know what kind of neighborhood this is so I'm just like very on edge but overall we do have the park to ourselves right now and it's like right next to a street and cars go very fast on the street I noticed because when I was parking um, I almost got ran over <laughs> so yeah it's it's kind of scary but I mean I don't know they like it so far but I think if I'm not here with somebody else I won't come again by myself there is one right there there's two three that's where I parked 
let's see, let's see, four, five, six over there, seven, eight, yeah. There is eight, eight entrances to this park. And not even to mention like that big um, main entrance to something else, but I don't know what that leads to, so. We actually got back home a couple hours ago. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to do with this bun. My hair is so thick and so much that I don't even know what to do. But anyways, Leo's actually upstairs sleeping. Oliver is not sleeping once again. He is all the way over there on his tablet. I'm about to do my little night routine. So I already showered. Most of my makeup came off. Um, there's always, you know, just some mascara that just stays in my eye, but like I really tried to take it off. If this down here under my eyes don't come out black after I shower, mission accomplished. That's a win for the night, okay? That's that's a win. So I'm gonna start doing the dishes. I normally clean up after the kids. I usually actually do this before I shower and before um, the kids go down for a nap while my boyfriend is giving them a bath I put everything together for him on the bed and I clean the floors and I clean everything so when we Put them down right after the bath and everything's set up and everything's ready and I help him get them dressed We put them down for bedtime and then we come down here We usually just get some snacks and we go upstairs and we watch some TV um, together because we like to have like that little catch up time at the end of the day and just talk or whatever you know we just we just like to have that little time for us and so i like to see the house clean by that time because it really helps me just get ready for the next day and just know that it's clean and it's not overwhelming <laughs> Bye! 